The COVID-19 pandemic continues to affect us as a small economy. The significant increases in cases reported, especially during the fourth wave, resulted in high numbers of hospitalizations and death, overwhelmed healthcare system, including healthcare workers and other frontline personnel. It also negatively impacted families, the workforce, and businesses. For the past two weeks, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs embarked on an accelerated drive to increase the access and availability of COVID-19 vaccines to the population. An additional booster dose of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine was also introduced. The response was satisfactory. However, we continue to appeal to eligible persons to take that personal responsibility to get vaccinated. To date, 23.9% of the population is fully vaccinated and 5% partially vaccinated. This means that only 28.9% of the population have received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine after approximately nine months since the rollout. Better can be done. As we are aware, Widespread acceptance of the COVID-19 vaccine is crucial for achieving sufficient immunization coverage to reduce incidents, hospitalizations, and death, and to ultimately end the pandemic. The ministry over the past few weeks have noted a decline in the number of reported COVID-19 cases. However, this should not be a reason for us to relax and drop our guard. COVID-19 is still circulating in the population and the risk of increasing cases is possible if there is too much relaxation and non-compliance to protocols. St. Lucia cannot afford another major outbreak and prolonged wave of COVID-19. Vaccination, undoubtedly, is the best tool to fight this pandemic. This is what will protect us from the serious effects of the virus in addition to living healthy lifestyles and observing the necessary protocols. The available vaccines are safe and effective against COVID-19 and its variants. Over the past few weeks and months, we have noted quite a few developments as it relates to travel and business, both on a regional and international state. As a result of the devastating effects on economies worldwide. Many countries are mandating fully vaccinated status as a requirement for entry into their ports and for business, mandating vaccines for employment to reduce the risk of COVID-19 and the negative impact it can have. The importance of vaccines cannot be overemphasized. To this end, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs appeals to the citizenry to continue accessing vaccines at the nearest vaccination site, including at the wellness centers. The Ministry also informs the public of a brief interruption in the availability of the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine at the vaccination sites over the next two to three days due to vaccine logistics and delays. The ministry regrets any inconvenience caused and commits to ensuring that the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine will be available at the soonest. The AstraZeneca vaccine remains available at all vaccination sites, including the wellness centers. Let us play our part and get vaccinated.